Hello, it's Joe, and welcome to another Minecraft survival video. It has been a while since I've made one of these, and a lot has changed. Even just by looking outside of my room, you can see that there's a lot different. Now, you can see I have updated to 1.17, and I've also gotten all these types of axolotls. Let me go and name all of them really quickly. This one will be called Chocolate. This one will be named Cream. I could name him. This one will be named Peach. This one will be named Lemon. Come here. And this one will be named Blueberry. Now this blue axolotl here is the rarest type of axolotl and it has a 1200 in one chance of spawning. And really luckily, he was the second axolotl that I came across in my world when I, after first updating. So that was really great. I'll go over everything I've done at the end of the episode. But first, we're gonna do what most of you probably are here for. So let's head into the nether and check it out. So if I fly over here, you can see there's a big hole. Like a really big hole. And this hole is where my, um... Weather skeleton farm is going to go. Or my, uh, yeah, weather skeleton farm. Oops. Now I still have to do a bit more spawn proofing, as you can see. There's a ton of mobs that have spawned here. But I can do that later. For now, I'm just going to focus on actual building of the farm. So does the design I'm going to be using is from a Shulker Craft video. I don't know if they designed it or someone else designed it, but I'm just going to if I remember, link the video in the description. So, I don't know how, I'm probably just going to come or like make clips every so often of my progress. And yeah, I'll see you probably after I've done some stuff. Okay, I have made some progress. I built the platform and added a little extension bit around the outside like in the, the video and it was awful because blazes kept spawning blazes and magma cubes kept spawning and i couldn't like i had to fight them off and it was really awful that's why i put the wither roses there now so i wouldn't have to face them or deal with them but yeah the next step now is to get these um, piglins in place. Uh, do I have any gold on me? Or no, did I forget gold? I do not have any gold on me, so I need to go get gold. I did change the bartering farm a bit from when I first built it, both in the overworld and nether side, because um, there were issues with both of them. Oh, I left it on. That's... <laughs> Actually... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oops. Uh... I'm really failing at using my bartering farm right now. Is this the right lever? Yes. I should put a switch there. Now you get out of my, uh... House. Um, also I did change the- I changed the gold farm as well. I changed everything. So, let's see how many gold ingots this makes me. 21, that should be enough. Oh yeah, I also put some nice decoration here. I kind of like it. Like the shell, hanging shelves and everything. I think it's a nice change. And there's blazes waiting for me here. Why are you in the wither roses? Did you like burn them before? I'm not sure if I have fire tick on in my world or not. Um, I might have turned it off at one point too because um, I wanted to keep things from burning, right? And it also causes lag. Having a lot of fire with fire tick, but I'm not sure. So let's move this piglin in place and see how that goes. Hopefully he doesn't run straight into the uh, wither roses. 
Maybe I'll throw a gold ingot there beforehand. Okay, you want to go that way? Okay, can I push you in there? Come on. Come on, go in, go in, go in. The thing is, they don't see these trapdoors as blocks. So. They think they can go through them when they can't. Come on! Go in there! Now, can I push you in? What the heck? Alright. I think you're in there now. Ooh, another piglin spawned. Nice. On Hoglin. I'm gonna want to get rid of him, the Hoglin, before I get the piglin. That was a lot of damage. Alright. Piglin, get in the boat. All right, and I'm done with that platform. We, oh, <laughs> we gotta be careful not to drive off the uh, into the void, the bedrock. So I'm pretty sure mobs in boats don't despawn, so I should be good with him for now. But I don't think I'm gonna take more than five minutes to get him in place. Um, piggy. Put the um, golding it there. And make sure not to hit you. And push you in further so that you can't escape. There we go. Look at that. So now if I remember correctly, I need to clear out... Oh, I just scared myself. I thought I like dug out the block under the piglin. That would have been awful. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the um, bottom area. Because since I have these two sources where the, um, or two spots where the, uh, what are they called, wither skeletons were con will convene, I think I'm going to have them drop down and then walk across a path of half slabs to another piglin. So I actually do need the boat or this platform again. Get off of there. Good thing I didn't destroy it yet. But yeah, I need... Oh, I should have gotten one. I should get ones without crossbows. Maybe I could give them swords. Don't fall off. Because I'm pretty sure one of them has cross a crossbow. The one, one of the ones I got. No. I don't want you. Now I'll just run away so you're not angry at me. Or can I get in here? Nope, he's going to hit me and get me very low. So let me run away from him. Are these guys mad at me? And do either of them, this guy has, oh, has a crossbow. All right, so catastrophe struck multiple times. Um, so what happened was I stopped recording to figure out what I was going to do with the like path sort of going underneath this thing for the weather skeletons to like group up into one place and um I got killed by a blaze so I had to run back here and then I forgot to bring gold with me so I got killed and I lost my elytra to a piglin out there I don't know or I lost an elytra to a piglin out there. I don't know where the piglin is. I could not find it afterwards. So I might one day come across a random piglin wearing an elytra. And then when I got back here and got all my stuff, a hoglin has spawned on that platform and run down here and killed this piglin that I have in here. And then what happened after that was after I got a replacement for this piglin, a blaze, another blaze spawned, another group of blazes, and they killed my replacement piglin. So this is my third pig that I've put here. I hate the nether. I don't want to leave this platform ever again until I finish placing all the wither roses. It's really... Oh, look at the battle. 
Okay, I hope, I hope the piglins don't fight back. I hope this guy does not shoot at the wither skeletons. That's going to be awful. I do not want to get another piglin. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I put little uh, safety barrier walls up in front of my... Oh! Okay, I'll just... Oh my gosh, I have to get another piglin again. I'm just going to leave that for now. I don't want to bother with it. I put up little safety walls. I'll just finish what I was saying. I put up little safety walls so that um, with their skeletons couldn't. I don't even think I did this right. But yeah, so then I'm gonna have this come down one, two, three blocks. Then I'll put a bottom half slab on this block down there. Um. How am I going to do this? So, this is where the weather skeletons are. So they will fall down here. Oh, I misplaced the... Oh, another... Oh my god. I'm so stupid. I hate this. I'm so fed up with this project. <laughs> Alright. I hope it's going to be all worth it in the end. I hope it actually will work. Um... Yeah, so, again, I'm going to go across. Okay, don't misplace the walls. Good. Now I guess I will just have the walls running across here. Right, so I create like a little channel for these guys to run across. And I'm not going to remove my scaffolding because I'll still need it. And I'll do that on both sides. Leaving this hole on both sides. Because I'm going to be putting the piglin on the other side of this um so i need to figure out how i'm gonna do the channeling so i'm gonna want them to run to a hole over here wait where's my where's my telescope oh that's a strider it looked like a shulker box but yeah um so i'm gonna probably oh that scared me gonna probably just use a full block here I'll place a button on top of it and put a trap door on the front of it Ooh. at least I have an elytra I actually misplaced my netherite chest plate I don't know where it went I'm gonna have to find it but yeah so then they'll just fall down here, and then I'll have my area where I kill them down at the bottom over there. I mean, yeah, this is how it's gonna be. I hope I did. I hope I did it right, and that it actually works with what modifications I did to it. But I'm gonna build the area down there, and I'll come back. Or I'm gonna build this whole bit, and then I'll come back. Figure out all of this stuff. And also get more wither roses, probably. Alright, so I'm here in the end to get some wither roses. I already had two wither skeleton skulls for some reason, so I just need to get one more. And I'm not gonna go fix my um, wither rose farm. I'm just gonna do this trick to get the wither roses really quickly. Um, so if I place these here, I have a couple poison potions, and what I need to do first is just throw out all these eggs. Stupid chicken, I don't want to kill you. I need you alive. It's really tight in here. I can't go anywhere other than there because the weather is in the way. I don't want to make the room... Actually, maybe I should make the room a bit bigger. So I can't remove that nether rack because that um, will create a hole outside of this place. Aw, oh, stupid chicken. Oh my god. Do I need to throw that at the ground? So yeah, I guess I need a bigger room because the chickens are like taking up too much space and being annoying. Um, I don't know if I could remove 
this and stone. I'm gonna leave it there. Also, I don't know how far out I should go. If I should dig out like two more blocks or one more block. I think I'll leave it at there and see how it gets with the chickens. I hope this works. If it doesn't, I um, wasted an hour of my life collecting eggs. And I hope I get enough wither roses, because I really don't want to get more wither skulls. I don't want to kill these chickens, but they keep running in front of me and I'm, act I'm getting worried that I'm hitting like the same chicken over and over again. Hello? What is happening? How did that work? Alright, now time for the poison and potions. So I hope all of them got the poison effect. So they seem to have lost their health down to one part. So let's spawn the wither. Hello? Um, and then let me get out of here. Alright, I hope that worked. Oh, it planted them! That's interesting. I did not know that. And now I have the wither effect. Is it from the wither roses or the wither? It's from the wither roses. Got a little over a stack. That's definitely not enough. Looks like I'm gonna have to fix my wither skeleton, or my, what is it? Wither rose farm. Uh, I really don't wanna do that. And I got a withers, wither head, nice. Okay, so I'm here in the end, or the, the nether now. Gonna place down the roses I just got, and I'm gonna see how much I have. What's really annoying about these roses is how they all have like a different offset, so it's hard to see if I've missed a block. Like you see there, there's a big gap, but I didn't miss the, a block. Hmm. And then I'll just put this over there. Boom. Um. I still probably need a few more stacks. And then I'll somehow need to go and check all of my wither roses to make sure that, or to see if I'm missing any. Oh, and I also changed this area down here. I moved the piglin that was up there and have two channels now, which at the bottom I'm gonna remove these blocks and then they're gonna, and then I'm gonna have them just become one little area for the skeletons to fall into. So maybe I could kind of make this like a centerpiece in the room, right? So I could go in it and like hit them from both sides, but the thing with that is if the drops fly off to a side, they won't be picked up by the hoppers, I don't think. So maybe I'll just have put a solid wall in the back and somehow it would work. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to build or design it in this episode or design it between episodes. I'll see how I feel. Oh, I'm going to go fix the Wither Rose farm. I'll see you after I get my Wither Roses. I am back, and I have fixed up my Wither Rose farm. Um, I've used Rayworks, or another Rayworks design. Now, I was here for a couple of minutes. I hope I didn't look at any Endermen. They're scary in hard mode, hard difficulty. Look at that, I was there for like 10, 10 or so minutes, and I got this many Wither Roses. So I'm going to take that, all of the Wither Roses I got, and let's head over to the, what is it, Wither Skeleton Farm. So, I didn't mention this, but I left the two blaze spawners, or yeah, I left two blaze spawners there, because I also want to make a blaze farm over here in this part, in this place. Um, I covered them in obsidian, or I encased them in obsidian, but I didn't realize that, or I didn't know that um, blaze spawners already, or uh, just m monster spawners in general, are unable to be destroyed by um, TNT on their own. But yeah, I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna have to design this thing here in this episode. So I'm gonna quickly design it and build it 
throw it together. I might make a building montage. But yeah, I'll come back when that's all built. I feel like I'm at a point where I can, um, oh, that's loud. Let me just kill all these guys. And there's a magma cube in here. But as I was saying, I feel like I'm at a point where I can actually go and finish off the farm. Right, I built like a little storage system down here and just a little base kind of thing. Um, it's not done yet, of course, and I'm gonna still like be modifying what I like, even what I have here. But as you can see, I got, I've gotten five wither skulls since I started working on this. Well, I've just been not really actively killing them and have been here for like a few hours like figuring out the design. And I should probably do it in my creative testing before I actually build it. Um, but yeah, I think I can actually go off and finish the farm. So um, I'm gonna need to dump my inventory and I'll get my wither roses and I'll head up there. So with these blaze spawners, I'm going to build blaze farms of course, obviously. Why is there blazes spawning here? No! Duh. Get out of here. Where's my bow? Dang it. Alright. Alright, actually I want to build this out further before I start like clearing up that area. Oh look at that. There's tons of them spawning already. This farm is too efficient. I was thinking while I was building it that I'm actually probably only going to use it this once and then never again. Right, because I'm just going to be here and get so many beacons that I'm never going to need like any more beacons. Like more beacons than I'm ever going to need. Okay, so I finished it. And that actually took quite a bit more with the roses than I expected it would. I'm... Actually, no, it took... Hmm. It took about as many as I thought it would, actually. I didn't see that I had two full stacks. I thought I only had one stack and seven. But this is it. I hope I didn't miss any spots. But now if we go... Yes, I opened that part. This should all be working now. So if I go down here... Look at that. I need to get my sweeping... Or I need to get a sweeping edge sword for this place. Did I get any more skulls? Like, look at that. They're already more falling down. Um, I also gotta make a, a sword disposal. I don't know if I said that. I'm gonna do something to get rid of the swords. I don't want all these swords. But look, it's so fast! And then I just sit here and kill them. It would be much faster if I had a sweeping edge sword, but... Whatever. I can always get one later. But for now, I'm happy with this. I think it works great, and... Except for the fact that I sometimes pick up the items. It's wonderful. But I'm gonna be standing back here anyways when I like kill them. I just have my stuff in the way so I can't really stand back here. But yeah, that was it for this video guy. Or well, actually no, I'm not gonna end it here. You're gonna, I'm gonna show you the tour video clip that I recorded before I did this whole episode. So that's why I still have like my 500 levels. And I actually don't remember what I talked about or what I did in it. So you're just gonna have to sit and Look at that. So yeah. See you there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you everything I've done since the last episode. I've done a lot, so I'm not sure exactly what I have to show you, but I made a little room here, and also what I did is I enchanted every set of armor with like full protection and full enchantments. I might do fire protection and projectile protection and blast protection sets of at least netherite, but for now I'm just going to leave it at just full protection 4. The next thing I've done is added a bit more detail to my base, as you can see. I added this like hill of dirt and puzzle and all these things around it to make it look more like boom, it was this base just was like planted here like whoosh, and it displaced all this dirt kind of because what I'm going for with this base is kind of like it's a alien kind of ship that came down from the sky and crashed down here sort of 
and I guess they're mining out the resources since down underneath I've just done a ton of mining. Cause then that also- and this plant is just some alien plant that they brought with them. And all of this detail here that I have really adds to it and I think it looks pretty nice. If I could- I really like it. I also dug back like these- some of these mountains to curve out- curve them out to make them smoother. I still didn't put grass over or replace this stone with grass. I still got to do that. But I think it looks nice like the curves I got. It's more gradual rather than just a flat wall and I think that really helps it look better. Next thing I've done is built a nice factory building around my machines. And I also really like how this turned out. At least the outside. The inside doesn't look like is it much, but the outside. Oh, I think it's so well if I could load in this part of the factory for whatever reason it's not loading. Um What? I'm sorry. Where did What? I... I don't know what to say. Um... What? I... Hopefully I made a backup in the of my world that has this factory so I can, like, kinda get it back. But... This is... This is what it is. I don't, I'm really at a loss for words about that corner. But, yeah, I, other than that corner, I think it looks great. Like, well, yeah, that's what I've been saying. On the inside, um, I hid the blast chamber in here, or well, like the tree farm in here. The blast chamber is the big centerpiece. And then also made a cobblestone generator. It's a bit, like, kind of in the way of everything, but I kind of made it fit, kind of. There's this pissony bit here, but other than that, everything is out of the way. I also used some of the new 1.17 blocks to make a little pathway. So another thing I did is I made a little shulker box room, right? So I have just some shulker boxes on demand. And then I also have some empty shulker boxes here too, so for these ones, if I want to put stuff in there, I could just pop them in there and then press this button, which will like destroy the shulker box, and then I could press this to place a new shulker box. Here I just have chests full of sh shulker boxes, and I could just pop a shulker box in there, it goes up into these chests. I also have a crafting system, so I do that, it'll give me the materials for a shulker box, I can craft it in this table, throw it in there, it'll throw me some more materials, and I can just do that to fill up the shulker box. Um, this is all the behind the scenes, not much special. I also put a, if I could open the door, new thing in my uh, room. I, have to, I added something new to my collection if I head over here. I added this. These, what are they called? Weeping Vines, right? These are all like the first stage of Weeping Vine, and yeah, I added them. I don't know what else to say. Also in this shulker box, I, I added just some of these ores that only exist in this version. I've been doing a big digging project, so I've been collecting many more of them, but yeah, those are going to be non-existent in later versions. So at this Ocean Monument, wherever it is, is it this way? It's this way. I made a quick, crude kind of guardian farm that actually works pretty efficiently, as you can see. Like, well, yeah, they spawn really fast, and they just pour into my killing part in the nether. And then in the nether, I just made a little quick storage room. It's a bit messy. There's no, like, sorting system to it. 
but it stores things and that's what counts. So now we're back at the main base and if we come over to these shelter boxes, these are things I got during my, um, with my tunnel bore. I don't know if this is everything or just what I just left here. But if we look in this box, you can see I have a ton of ancient debris and this is what I got from my mining in the, like my whole clearing my whole perimeter in the nether where I built my, um, weather skeleton farm. Uh, I actually discovered while making this or while working on this video that I had one and a half more stacks approximately of ancient debris sitting in a chest in the nether. So that's a lot of ancient debris, ancient debris. And also over here, this is all the diamond ore I have gotten or that I got from using my tunnel bore that I made in a previous episode. I don't remember when I made it. I made it a while ago. And this is all the diamond ore I got. So I'm going to... Oh, I guess I'm gonna mine all of my diamond ore and oops so we'll see how much I get so I'm not gonna do a uh, replay mod or I'm not gonna do like a nice replay of my mining of this because I don't have the replay mod installed that I couldn't be bothered to really install get it installed right now I'm lazy that's it. I'm actually going to need to <laughs> make more room on my inventory, I just realized, because I have too many diamonds. So I placed down all the diamonds. Let's check it out. Oh, my poor, my poor factory. <laughs> but this is my tower of diamonds. It's pretty nice and big. Also, I love this texture pack I have on for my spyglass. Oh, actually. This reminds me, I made a little graveyard for my dead pets. I have someone to put in here. I don't have a gravestone. Um, where will I put him? I guess I'll put him over here. My poor puffer fish who lived in my in my um my base he died so i'm putting together a little grave for him rest in peace you were a great you were a great pet sad but now back to the oh I hate Enderman just they put so many blocks around I have a thing in now I have a data pack in that'll prevent them from doing that so that's great but there's still a ton of damage from them so now time to start mining I should have had my beacon I took my beacon away for another project I was working on so this is gonna take forever to mine. I've got to be careful that I also don't drop any off of the edge of this, um, what is it? Tower? Okay, so I mined the whole thing. All gone. And I didn't get that many levels. Oh, I showed my inventory. I spoiled the uh, spoils. But that's not all of them. I actually ran out of room in my inventory and popped a bunch of the diamonds into this shulker box. So let me compress them into diamond blocks and see how much we have. It's probably not that much, to be fair. Yeah, only less than three stacks of diamond blocks. And my goal is to get an entire uh, shulker box of diamond blocks. And this is all the diamond blocks I have. I have a lot of work ahead of me. Oh yeah, I also went and got every single type of music disc. I completely forgot about that. 
But yeah, that was it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. And actually, I just realized that the diamonds I have are not all the diamonds that I actually own. Because I have a, I did some more blasting um, in 1.17. Right, that's the version? Yeah, 1.17. So I have, well, not that many more diamonds, like 20, 32. Okay, about like a, a little under a stack more of diamond ore. I'm probably not going to mine that. I'm going to save it, you know, just have the diamond ore blocks if I ever want them. And the deep slate ores, I will not be mining because, or at least for now, I won't be mining them. I might have to mine them later when the dish, when, um, 1.18 comes out because there will only be deep slate diamond ore I think right so yeah I'm gonna have to want to save my normal diamond ore now and mine my deep slate diamond ore but that was it for this video guys if you enjoyed leave a like and subscribe and I'll probably see you in another like six months <laughs> bye